Now to a CBS2 investigation. First, sports fans get ripped off by scammers. Then they get ticketed by the city. Now yet another victim of that parking scam is reaching out to CBS2 investigator Dave Savini. And he's getting results as the White Sox react to Dave's findings. It's the cash. We found them at White Sox games. So I'm not going to get told or anything? No, sir. No, sir. And at the United Center for Bulls and Blackhawks games selling fake parking passes. What is that, like a parking pass? Permit, permit, permit. There he is, waving. The Not even the different teams of officers patrolling the areas like here outside Guaranteed Rate Field would stop them. These guys have been out here selling stickers all day long. Your story kind of related our exact situation. Jim Cesari says our CBS2 investigation last October hit a nerve, especially because the scammers only stopped back then because CBS2 confronted them. No, 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 you're selling, you're selling illegal, sti you're selling stickers, man. You're selling stickers. I ain't selling It was really, it was very disturbing at the time. Cesari says he was scammed when he took his wife to a Sox game for her birthday in July. But while these sports fans got ripped off thinking they'd bought permits for city street parking, Cesare was targeted while driving to an official White Sox parking lot. You're a Cubs fan who found himself at a Sox game. Right, and my wife is a, uh, a diehard Sox fan. He says it all happened here at the corner of Pershing and Princeton on the south side of the stadium. That's when he says several men wearing bright color vests like this approached his car and other cars and told them they had to pay cash in order to park in one of the official White Sox parking lots on the other side of the street. One of the three actually stood in front of our car and blocked us, although my focus was on the guy collecting the money. The CBS2 investigators have gone undercover multiple times over the years, showing this scam happening at different sports venues. So that's going to let me park there? Yep. Like, up, yeah. like here at the United Center in 2019. Is this okay right here? Yeah. yeah. Good, but Not going to get ticket or anything? None of that. Bulls and Blackhawks fans, along with Sox fans like Dina Mora, first get conned, then slapped with parking tickets by the city while the scammers go free. And the White Sox uh, didn't show any concern. And Chicago police didn't show a lot of concern either. We have a guest relations department here that will deal with those folks. Um, you know, that's, again, disappointing to hear. Scott Reifert is the Chicago White Sox vice president of communications. Have there been other people that have been scammed in this way? Yeah, I, I, yes. What was your reaction when you saw what we found happening outside the ballpark on those streets with these guys selling these spots that they had no right to sell? I think frustration, right? I mean, we, we, we care a lot about our fans and our customers, and from the moment they leave their front door to the moment they get to the ballpark. What did you feel when you learned they had this, like, official White Sox parking sign? Disappointed. Amazed, but then not amazed at the extent some people will go to, to basically scam someone. At some point, the White Sox can control our footprint, and after that, it's really a city of Chicago and traffic management concern. The White Sox say they can only control what happens on their property, but they do say they plan to meet with Chicago police to devise a plan to crack down on these scammers, be scammers before opening day. And they also won't be accepting cash at any of their Sox owned parking lots. So if anyone asks you for cash, it's a scam. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Thank you so much, Dave. For a look at more of Dave's original piece and more on this parking scam, you can head to CBSChicago.com. Click on CBS2 Investigators.